hi and welcome to my channel so i'm going to be sharing with you three absolutely amazing opportunities to get visa sponsorship and work in the uk you know without necessarily working as a carer look i'm doing this for a reason because many people feel that the only option they have if they want to move to the uk or switch their visa is working as a carer there are also many people that want to work for the nhs which is the national health service and they feel that because they don't have that healthcare background they may have a disadvantage so that is why i'm sharing these three jobs which are all admin based so they are known patient facing jobs so that anybody can apply you don't need any degree any experience no qualifications no alt nothing at all and so you know it is just heartbreaking because the other day i was at work and the tv was on so the news was going on and they were showing four carers overseas carers that were treating a vulnerable adult in a very very unacceptable manner and i'm saying this with all due respect and politeness and a few of my colleagues were talking about it and they were saying oh look at this is awful and all sorts of things and I was sat there think, thinking to myself, there are many people that don't want patient-facing roles like carer jobs, for example, but they feel that that is the only option that they have. Look, there are other opportunities in the UK that are not involving patient-facing jobs. And if you don't want those patient-facing jobs, that is fine. And this is why I'm committed to sharing these other opportunities so that you can still work in healthcare, have visa sponsorship without doing jobs that you don't want and you don't like so that we can avoid situations such as this. Because obviously these four carers will be going to jail, obviously. So if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber as usual, I absolutely appreciate your time and look if you haven't joined this family hit the subscribe button now so that you're the first person to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here I'm committed to making sure that you're not only aware of the best pathways to move to the UK or switch your visa if you're already in this beautiful amazing country but that you're also aware of opportunities for you to progress in your career so you can earn more work less and get to retire early so I like these three jobs because with job number one, it is something that it is the least stressful of all the three jobs. With job number two, you're going to have access to some of the best opportunities and exposure to various roles within the NHS in the UK, other opportunities that you can pursue if you're open to looking at other things. With job number three, you are going to have access to some of the best career progression opportunities because you're going to develop really good skills, management, leadership, and you're really going to be, you know, in a very good position if you're somebody who is keen on career progression long term to really see your positions. So that's why these three jobs are very good. And in terms of the starting salary, all three of them, the starting salary is between 25,000 to 35,000 pounds per year, depending on where you get the job offer and all that. So these are really amazing opportunities. And by the way, if you're not aware, I do have a free newsletter. I've dropped the link in the comment section below where I share information such as this directly to your inbox so that you're not reliant on the YouTube algorithm for such vital information that is crucial for your personal and professional development. So it's free to join the newsletter. You drop your name and email and you're part of it. So check the comment section to join. Also, you're going to find my contact details on there. That's my WhatsApp number as well as my email address. So that if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself, Melvis, I need these jobs. I need a free visa sponsorship job. I need to switch. I need to move to the UK ASAP. What can I do? Get in contact with me for that one-to-one -one tailored, individualized and personalized guidance. So job number one is a personal assistant. Look, working as a personal assistant is one of the easiest and the least stressful jobs that you can have within healthcare or any sector whatsoever in the UK. Obviously, the NHS does recruit for this and there are thousands and thousands of vacancies at the moment as we speak. So there is no excuse saying, Melvis, you know, are they only recruiting nurses, carers and doctors? You know, I've got no experience. I don't want any patient facing roles. What can I do? This is an opportunity that you should indeed go for. And before I even carry on, leave a comment in the comment section and say, Melvis, I will implement this because I need your word that I'm not sharing this for nothing. Look, I don't want to be wasting my time because time is very, very precious. And I don't want to be wasting your time as well. And I don't want you, most importantly, wasting your own time. So make sure that you're applying for these jobs, you're implementing. And if you find any challenges, do leave that in the comment section below so that, you know, I can 
respond or the people as well who may have information about these opportunities can also respond to that so when you're working as a personal assistant you're supporting you know let's say for example a consultant or you know management ward managers and whatever in the nhs they all have their own personal assistants so what you do is really like organize their appointments you know if they have any calls to make you know so it's really just like supporting that one person and that's why it is not very stressful for example you know our consultants if we have six consultants for example each consultant has their personal assistant so as you can see you know there are lots of opportunities for this and it's not stressful because you're only supporting that one person so you know it's not very difficult the good thing about this particular job is that it tends to be hybrid as well. So if you're somebody that you don't want to work Monday to Friday, you can do, say, two days, you know, actually at work and then three days from home and all that. And these opportunities offer visa sponsorship. So that's the good thing about it. So that's a personal assistant. And also it is unisex. So it doesn't matter whether you're a man, you're a woman, you're young, you're old. These are perfect opportunities to apply. So I also want you to leave a comment and tell me, what do you think about this opportunity? Is it something that you would want to pursue, you know, and all of that? So again, job number one. Now, job number two is a ward clerk. Look, working as a ward clerk, it's one of those opportunities that also recruits. And there are thousands of vacancies because every single ward needs to have a ward clerk. You can imagine how many are obviously needed. If you're watching this, by the way, for the first time and we don't know each other, my name is Melvis. I work as an advanced nurse practitioner, which is the most senior clinical nursing position, you know, in the profession. I work for the NHS at the moment. I started as a carer myself, you know, 13 years ago um, in a nursing home. And that's why I'm very passionate about these, you know, opportunities in the UK. Healthcare has the best opportunities that there are in this country. That's the reality. Whether you want to move to the UK or you're, you know, you're wanting to progress in your career, healthcare has the highest opportunities compared to any other sector. But there is a misconception that you've got to be a nurse or a doctor or a carer, for example. And that's why I'm committed to this. So I've got a private career coaching program. I've dropped a link in the comment in the description box below or the about you on this channel where I've got information about my private coaching program. So if you do want to join, by the way, if you're watching this video, then it's going to be perfect for you. But my program is not for everybody. It's for less than 1% of people on this platform that watch my videos. I know that and it is on purpose because success, unfortunately, is not for everybody. Progress is not for everybody. Career progression is not for everybody. 99.9% .9 of people will watch this video and take absolutely no action. They will not apply for the jobs. They won't contact me. They'll just do nothing. And that is why I say that my program is for less than 1% of people here on this platform. And that is because it would be good if we all succeeded, but it is not possible. And that is because many of us won't take the action that is needed. So if you're part of the top 1% that I'm talking about, then yes, do something about your own progress. Don't stay stagnant in the same position. Because like I say, 2024 is the year for reawakening. Those of you that have been dormant, unfortunate emails, that are not doing anything, you complain, you watch video after video after video, leave that in 2023. Because this is a new year. And so we need to progress together. So do contact me. My contacts are in the comment section below. If you're thinking, hmm, I've got X, Y, Z questions about the program or anything else. I need more information. Then obviously you're welcome to do so. And also to say that if you're looking for these jobs, obviously you get that support with the NHS jobs, you know, supporting information, which is very crucial. How should it be? How do you need to position yourself? What are they looking for? What about the interview? How do you know which jobs are offering sponsorship from the ones that are not? Again, we go through all of that. This is not a magic pill. It's a lot of hard work, dedication, perseverance, patience, and, you know, just everything that you need. But that is what is needed for you to progress. You cannot progress without making any effort. It does not work. And that's why I like to make it really plain on the fact that if you're joining my coaching program, be ready to work. If you're not ready to work, there is no need to join because you're going to be wasting your time and my time as well. So job number two, like we said, is a ward clerk. If you're working as a ward clerk, you know, it is one of those jobs where, like I said before, you're going to have exposure to, you know, you're doing admin work, but you have a lot of exposure to other positions. You can explore, see what else is going on. You're going to have a lot of interaction with other people and that can really open your mind to other opportunities and other possibilities that exist within the healthcare service. So that at the end of the day, you're thinking to yourself, oh, Melvis, actually, I really enjoy 
about being a ward clerk, but I've seen the position, you know, I've seen an occupational therapist and I'm really passionate about this and I think this is what I want to do. I'm saying this because one of the carers in my coaching program, she joined last year, that was 2023. And she wanted something different because she wasn't very happy being a carer. You know, she was working domiciliary care, very long days, very few hours being paid. You know, it was just an absolute nightmare. She wanted something that was completely, in fact, out of patient care and all that. So I encouraged her to go for a work clerk job. So she was successful. And right now, you know, she is training to become an occupational therapist. And that's why I'm giving this example with her. Because being a ward clerk, she had that exposure to seeing different people, you know, and all of that. And that was what she has really um, kind of fallen in love with. So she's doing that now. And after three years, obviously, from now, she's going to be a qualified um, occupational therapist. So again, there's that exposure because you're getting to, you know, interact with those other professionals. So again, if you're enjoying this content, by the way, hit the like button. It lets me know that you enjoy content like this and obviously I should do more. Also, do feel free to share this with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, so that they're aware of these opportunities. You know, you must know somebody in your life that is currently wanting to move to the UK or to switch or in healthcare and fed up with being a carer and they're thinking to themselves, look, I don't want to carry on with this forever. I'm telling you that there are other options out there for you. You know, there are some of us that, like me, I'm very passionate about patient care. That's what I do. I prefer clinical nursing. I mean, dealing with patients directly. But everybody's not the same. And like I say, these four carers that, they, you know, I was watching the news and they were showing about everything that was going on. When I looked at everything that was going on, I was thinking to myself, this is lack of orientation. Lack of orientation is what is really putting our people down. Because if you're coming to the UK and you don't know what opportunities are available, you don't know what else you can do, and you're seeing everybody singing about carer jobs, it seems as if it's the only thing you can do. And I'm telling you that there are other things, better options even, that you can go for. But it is your duty to put in the effort that is needed in order for you to get those opportunities because nobody's going to put them on a platter of gold and present to you and say hey Melvis <laughs> we know that you don't want to be a carer in the UK but guess what you can do xyz nobody will do that and that's why because I've got 13 years of experience you know in this country working in healthcare progressing from the most junior position right now to the top that's why I dedicate myself to bringing these opportunities to you because I've been there done that and I know how difficult it is navigating through the system in the UK. It is tough. You know, when you're still back home, you think, oh my God, I need to get to the UK. It's going to be the dream. But let me tell you, the challenges only begin when you get here. And if you're not wise, you're not smart, you're not strategic, you know, you don't have right company, you don't have access to the right information, hmm, it's going to be so hard. But again, Take heart and you need to keep on going. So job number three is being a clinic coordinator. Look, of all these jobs, this tends to be the highest paying. But when it comes to applying for this job, you need to be so good when you're putting your application because it needs to be demonstrating those skills. You need to be oozing with confidence from your application for you to stand any chance of getting this job. So again, you know what I mean? It's about presentation. If you've got a degree, for example, there are many people here, you know, many people from, from like ethnic minority backgrounds are very educated. Many of us have degrees. We've got master's degrees and all of that. What we don't have are the opportunities or we don't know how to pursue those opportunities. So this is where you need to really be smart and really put that experience forward. Put your qualifications forward and be really, really assertive about what you know. And that's where confidence really comes in. But again, if you need obviously guidance, you need support with those applications, you know, supporting information, like I say, is very powerful when it comes to NHS jobs. If you don't do it well, if it doesn't have all the components that are needed and expected, it can be very challenging to get those jobs. You, you, I mean, I, I'm saying this from experience because I have, you know, experience in both sides where I review supporting information for people that are in my coaching program. And by the way, this is something that I only offer for members of my coaching program because there's quite a lot involved with getting that supporting information the components going through it takes a lot of time and it is not possible to offer such a detailed dedicated and personalized service to every single person it's only for those people that have identified themselves as part of the top one person like i say because very few people are thinking the way i do and these are people that are like i don't only have to get to the uk but guess what I need to make the most of the best opportunities that this country has to offer. 
Not many people want that. Many people want to succeed. They want to excel. They want to be different. They want to earn a lot of money. They want to work less. They want to retire early. But let me tell you, less than 1% of us will put in the effort to do that. I keep repeating this because it is the truth. Many of us, all we we'll do is watch videos. But please, think about 10 years from today. What do you want to be doing? Do you want to carry on doing what you're doing now, 10 years from now? You know, how have you improved your situation from your parents' situation, from your children's situation? What legacy are you going to leave behind? I mean, when you start thinking about all these different things, it's going to give you the push that you need in order for you to keep moving forward and really investing in your personal and professional development. So again, these are things that I offer to those members of my program. And by the way, during a live session on Thursday, we're going to really dissect these three opportunities, go through, look at actual vacancies, look at the supporting information. What do they need? How should you position yourself? Because I currently have quite a few members who are applying for different jobs, you know, and they don't want any clinical jobs. They only want the non clinical jobs. And again, that is absolutely fine. So what do you think about these opportunities? Which of these are you going to go for? You know, again, with this third opportunity, if you're keen on career progression, it gives you access to, like I said, the best opportunities, courses that you can do. There are lots of apprenticeships. You can study. You can keep progressing. That's why the NHS is so good, because there is a lot of funding. It's government opportunities. You can grow. It's amazing. And so if you're working for the private sector, Try to get a job for the NHS so that you can progress from there. And then if you want to do anything after that, you can. Because you've got the training, you've got the knowledge, you've got the skills, and you've got the experience to back up so that you can earn more, work less, retire early. Again, if you need to contact me, like I said, check the comment section. you see my contact details there so that we can get started. And do hit the subscribe button, by the way, and check out this video here.